The Fairhope K-1 Center was demolished this week as a project gets underway to bring new life to a campus that's been abandoned for years. As WKRG News 5's Blake Brown explains, a large portion of the property will provide a hands-on learning space for people of all ages, and Phase 1 is almost complete. The Fairhope K-1 Center Administration building torn down this week, part of a larger master plan for this downtown property. It'll be the welcome space. It'll be an entry point for people when they enter to the campus. For now, it's the only building being demolished, but the city is still waiting to see the structural report on the campus's main building that's been vacant for more than 10 years. Since they started this demolition, we've had many visitors stop by and it's drawn a lot of attention because they don't want to see it go and they have so many memories here. The Fairhope Educational Enrichment Foundation, known as FIF, is already breaking ground on the north end of the property, leasing this land for indoor and outdoor learning, eventually tying in to the existing Pelican's Nest Science Lab. They plan to utilize a lot of what's already here. We're going to do seminars in our outdoor campus to educate people about sustainability, rainwater runoff, um, solar panels. Four existing classroom buildings will be completely renovated inside and out, allowing space for Baldwin County Public School students of all ages to experience hands-on learning during field trips and even birthday parties under the adjacent pavilion. We'll have a bird sanctuary, a butterfly garden, sensory garden. The pavilion is part one of the three-phase project estimated to cost close to $4 million once everything is built. That's a big jump from the $780,000 estimate they received before the COVID-19 pandemic caused building costs to climb. A timeline for phase two and three isn't known until additional funding is secured. In Fairhope, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.